Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to be making this video to talk about something that happened to me yesterday. Uh, the story goes, I walked away from my computer to go shower before work. And when I came back, I noticed I had a message on my Steam. So I clicked on my Steam profile, of course, and I saw that my profile picture had been changed and so had my bio. The message in my account said this account is invoked in fraudulent activity, account warning Friday, April 26, blah, 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 to resolve it. Your account has been rebooted. Review your PM to receive instructions from our agent. And then I noticed that I had someone on my friends list added. In fact, the only person because everyone else was blocked on my Steam profile. And this person was trying to pretend to be a Steam representative. Now, first off, I just want to clarify Steam should and probably will never contact you through Steam um, anything like that for fraudulent activity or anything involving your account getting locked would likely just place your account on a, a lock and they would send you an email there would be no Steam representative uh, reaching out to you via Steam obviously this was quite the shock when I uh, came back and saw all of this happening I was very confused, but let's kind of break down a couple things that I noticed and just kind of show you when something looks not right, you should look into it a little bit more. Had I not dug any deeper into the person's profile and the situation, I likely would have fallen for this scam. Uh, whenever I get any skins over like $100, I get added by a lot of scammers. I get contacted by a lot of scammers and typically you can pick them out right away. They'll ask you if the, if you want to join a tournament. They'll ask you if you want to rate their artwork. Uh, there, there's just like a bunch of things that are just very clear and obvious. But yeah, let's, let's kind of go over the situation that I went through. So I thought I had taken screenshots of my computer. I guess I didn't. Luckily, I have them on my phone here. Um, so let's kind of go through what they sent me. So they started the, the chat and there was a supposed case number for the uh the chat and a message that said any alterations made to this account by the user in the future will lead to a disconnection from the account uh, a notification sent via email to my email from no reply at steampowerhelp.com has been successfully dispatched and it looks like they got some information from a recent transaction they have where I live, my the last two of my card number, my phone number, and just some other information. All the uh, desktops my computer was logged into. So we're talking supposedly to Elizabeth Smith here. And she started it off with, I am Elizabeth Smith from the fraud department at Steam Customer Support. Tasked with assisting you regarding an issue with your account while you're currently on probation, there's no need for concern as everything will be recertified. Your cooperation is appreciated and I kindly request that you respond to resolve this matter collaboratively. You have previously received communication from us through both email and this chat. I'm here to discuss a potential collaboration opportunity with you. It's crucial to comprehend that I'm here to assist you in resolving your case at this stage aiming to avoid the necessity of legal proceedings. Allow me to provide a comprehensive explanation for you at this moment, all right? And then I responded, this is when I had just gotten back to my, com my computer. I said, what's happening? Um, at this point in time, I, I actually thought it was real. So I was like, what, what is going on? It looks like they put the date in chat or no. Th this must be a date from whenever this fraud happened. I, I don't know. Um, starting from this day, unauthorized activities were conducted on your account, resulting in a breach of Steam's user agreement. We've noticed websites in Google search results that seem counterfeit, some offering roulette or fake tournaments. These sites might be found via Steam Workshop, Steam Chat, Steam Comments, and discussions related to a professional player. I'm hesitant to label third-party sites as frauds, but fraudsters offers but fraudsters often find ways to evade Google search anti-fraud measures. Evaluating their suspicious links above authentic ones. Users may unknowingly grant authorization by clicking these links and upon redirection to legitimate sites may not notice they've authorized access through a devious link. Holy shit, I'm having issues reading this guy there. Um, so real quick, I believe this information is actually true. Um, what I believe happened was I went to a, a a bachelor party and me and some buddies were doing some CSGO gambling and I was on my laptop. Um, I believe I went to go to CSGO roll and I think I clicked a fake link. 
that or my Steam account just somehow got hacked. Obviously, uh, they didn't need my mobile authentication, but I think because they didn't have the mobile auth authentication, they couldn't actually do anything besides change what's already in my account. Upon registering through the suspicious links, you entered a security code or QR code. Subsequently, fraudsters utilized this code for unauthorized access. Following the breach, they exploited your account to engage in fraudulent activities, leveraging the misconception held by many that individuals in possessions of skins are less likely to be involved in fraud. Upon the creation of your Steam account, you acknowledged and accepted the terms of service to US. This implies your agreement an acknowledgement of your responsibility for all actions occurring on your account. As you've seen the notifications in your profile description, your account requires a reboot as part of our process to gather information on any suspicious activity associated with it. Now at this point, I was obviously very on edge here. I was like, what? Because uh, it, it just didn't make sense to me. Um, Steam rebooting my account for fraud didn't make sense. Something like that would not require any account quote unquote reboot if for some reason there was some type of reboot action that had to have been taken it wouldn't require me to do anything at all they would just do it and put my account on a hold but uh, let's continue reading and see what else elizabeth here had to say the reboot procedure is a measure implemented by our company to serve any connection fraudsters may have with your account the reboot process is affecting tradable items, so we have contacted you. Currently, it's imperative to initiate a reboot of your account to investigate the methodology employed by the perpetrators. However, a noteworthy consideration is that executing this reboot would result in the removal of your, your item. Hence, I seek confirmation regarding your performance to retain or forego the preservation of your items. I don't know if I'm dyslexic or if this font is just really hard to read. I don't know. Um, but no, th this isn't something Steam would do. Anything that would require uh, anything from Steam, they would be able to do it without removing your skins, obviously. Um, at this point, I was like, okay, now, now I kind of understand that this is definitely a scam. To save your items, you can transfer them to your secondary account or your friend's account, any account that ensures their safety. Would you like to move your items so that I can reactivate your friends list? Uh, and then I didn't respond at this point. I was trying to figure out how this person got into my account because after some further digging, I'll put another screenshot of the profile picture or the profile now. I started digging into the profile of Elizabeth and I checked the recent names and there was one called like Native Deadshot or something, which obviously does not look very professional. If you're truly a Steam employee, your past name history is not going to have the name of what sounds like a Rocket League or Call of Duty player. So at this point, I had started to look into changing my password, figuring out like how this person got into my account. And then this absolute genius hit me with, Sir, can you explain why you're not answering? I see all the activity on your accounts. That's just not professional. At this point, they'd really fumbled the bag because obviously anyone who's working customer service like this in a situation where maybe your account did get hacked, they wouldn't be in any rush. It would all be up to the user. They wouldn't say, sir, why aren't you answering? I just thought that was goofy. Now I have to reboot your account to gather information on how the fraudsters gained access to your account. During this procedure, the items remaining on your account will be removed. Therefore, I have contacted you so that you can keep them. Since you have refused to cooperate, I am initiating this procedure. You've got already contacted by us via email in this chat. I'm here to tell you about the opportunity to cooperate with us. And then they supposedly removed my prime status from my CSGO account. So I asked them, can you confirm what email you sent this to? Because at this point, I was pretty sure this was fake. But I wanted just to be sure. I was like, maybe I really did miss something. And maybe Steam does contact you. I was under the illusion that mobile authenticator would have protected me. I let someone into my account. And they sent the email that it was sent to. Um, and said, if you don't see the email in your inbox, try checking your spam folder. Any official email from an official company is likely not going to be sent to your spam account, especially when it pertains important information about fraud activity on your account. And I mean, you know, anyone who might be in a panic might look at that and actually believe it. So I didn't respond. Uh, I changed my password. I was trying to figure out 
how to get this person out of my account, looking up some videos, and I had changed my password already. And then Elizabeth hit me with, uh, because you changed your password, you have the opportunity to transfer them only in our storage accounts. But also, it will let you get your items back after I'll reboot, reboot your account. So it means in 30 to 40 minutes after you, after you transfer items, all your account's features would be back on and items would be transferred back also without trade hold. So I stopped contacting Elizabeth here. There was just too many red flags that I couldn't ignore. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to put this out there just to make this scam known. Uh, maybe it is a well-known scam. But I was very impressed with how legitimate it looked. I guess anyone with access to your Steam profile would be able to do something like this. It just caught me off guard. So if anyone else has had any type of experience like this, or if anyone knows of maybe a way they could still have access to my account after checking my API, changing my trade link, changing my password, changing my email password, removing all the accounts on my Steam device. So yeah, that's, that's all I really got. I just wanted to kind of go over this and uh, make some people aware of it just so they can avoid it.